What's up everybody? Today is day two of the Texas Pro. It's men's bodybuilding and women's physique. We're gonna watch pre-judging and I'm gonna take you along with me and offer some commentary and thoughts as we go. Let's check it out. Okay, it's one o'clock, we're late. This is like the, uh, this is like going to the movie theater and you've got the commercials that play before the trailers. That's what this is. All right, is it go time? No, it's more commercials. So I am looking forward to this. There's a few people in uh, particular on the competitors list. I did a little bit of research beforehand. Um, there's a, a few people that I'm really looking out for um, in uh, both women's physique and in open bodybuilding. Cause I went through and I looked at um, who's done what shows previously this season. Some of them have, have done several shows and this is like you know the fourth show for a handful of people. And some of them have been in prep for a long time. There's one person in particular who um, like did the New York Pro, <laughs> which was back in, when was that? New York Pro was in May, it's now August. And so it's like, that's a long time. So I'm curious to see how these people in particular show up today, just because it, if they end up looking tired, it wouldn't surprise me at all. Like that's a long time to be grinding through to try and, try and get enough points for an Olympia qualification. Showtime 60 seconds, showtime 60 seconds. 10 minutes late. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2024 IFBB Pro League Texas Pro, our MC, Masters of Ceremony, and the newest voice of bodybuilding, Sid Faruqi. Thunderous applause from the crowd. Freddie and I do, ladies and gentlemen, a little too kind with the introduction. Voice of the Texas Pro is good enough for me. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to the 2024 Texas Pro. The NPC show, I caught little bits of it here as I was kind of getting the technical stuff for this setup. Some pretty good looking competitors in the NPC show. Like some, some of the classes kind of look like pro classes or at least national level classes. <laughs> So they're just bringing out seven here to start. I'm assuming these are largely in numerical order here. Pro shows are always tricky just because you have such a variance in height. They're not separated out by height class anymore. It's just everybody on stage all at once. There are, I didn't count, there are about 20-ish or so competitors here. So this is just the first random group of seven. She won the Tampa Pro last week. This is Zama Benta right here. There's something to be said for like some of these bodies really looking more like bodybuilders than women's physique. I think there's an argument to be made for that. And that's really the question for some of this stuff here. Here's your next group of seven, presumably. All right, we got Tony bringing up our next seven. This group has Alyssa Kiesling right here. Jeannie Feldman right here. Now two of these ladies are known for their posing. Sharonica on the far right mm -hmm. and uh, second from the left, Alyssa Kessling. Yeah. I personally strongly dislike her posing style. Sometimes you get somebody in one of these shows and you're like, yeah, you shouldn't be here. And you know, I've, I've been that person before, not on a pro stage, but I've been that person where it's like, yeah, I don't really belong up here. It's a shitty feeling. It sucks. This person is going to be, I believe this right here is Aaron Hughes. He was in Tampa last week and didn't place in Tampa, which makes me wonder like, why would you then do another show the next week? Like if you're, you know, top five, maybe even top 10, yeah. Do another show, accumulate some points. If you're not placing, call it off. Like your season's over, get back to it. Growth phase, focus on prep for next year. I would not be doing shows back to back at that point. So here are, is this another I seven? Our last Six. This is Paula Ranta from Finland here. This is like her fourth show of the year we'll in pretty rapid succession. And and in no case, no one's blown me away from the back here. Me. Far left. I definitely agree. Not sure who that is. Um, but. Okay, so that's your 20. That's the first look at all of them. They call this the symmetry round. Good size, great, good shape, shape, conditioning in the best. Like lean-ish, just not consistent. Lower body's definitely a little softer. Upper body's pretty tight here. Kind of shying away from the back poses so awesome. far. <laughs> yeah, upper body's there, glutes and hams. Eh, borderline, not bad, not bad. Not sure what that was. Not my favorite pose right there. This walk, I hate so much. It's like, just get on stage and do your thing. Now correct me if she's wrong. You've told me that she's already qualified. For Zama is qualified. She won Tampa last Olympia. week. She, Very nice. I think she's more bodybuilding than physique. Um, and I don't really think it's all that close. Um, legs are kind of overpowering here. Really 
Like you, you can't I really. That she's one of the Olympia. Uh, you're you're going to have to nitpick to pull her p- past, physique apart. The question is just one of like very, very overall good. symmetry. Like conditioning is there, size is there, posing's good. Um, it's just you know, is she really women's physique or is this more of like a bodybuilding shape? And again, she won Tampa last week, so. I absolutely agree. It's her back is ridiculous. So she was eighth in Tampa Tatiana last week. Coming to- yep, just a little undersized overall. Conditioning looks good. Posing looks good. Pretty cool. Showing off the glutes there. Yep. The, the trick with posing is to know what your strengths are and then find a way to show those in as many different poses as possible. So glute conditioning is clearly a strength of hers. So like, yeah, show that on the side poses as well. Back is just small, it's underdeveloped. Um, like more thickness throughout the back. Um, thing is like, I don't know how tall she is, but she looks very tall. And that's just a bigger challenge to try and fill out a frame you know, like Tatiana that. Tatiana doesn't carry as much muscle as we saw with Zama, but I'll tell you, she's definitely came in. She's like eight inches taller. Point. I mean, <laughs> I was able to take that long. 27, Pamela Can you just say the name and not make it sound like a pro wrestling thing? So this is her Great first Pamela, show of the year. One of those three Olympia um, contestants here. And again, you can see why. Three as soon as she walks contestants. out, you can see why now. Last year, I guess we're talking actually about. actually from Midland here in Texas, so. Conditioning is off. Like she's she's lean, but she's looking kind of watery here. Like you said, Terrence, already qualified for the Olympia, so she's just here for the title and for the money. That That's absolutely amazing. Like yeah, on, like on the back, the that's, that's pretty impressive. That's pretty crazy. Things, it's funny how uh, her, her glutes and hamstrings are absolutely uh, shredded and her upper body is a little very, like, very a little softer. Kind of weird. Yeah, and I think you go. Not bad. Just looks a little like, I don't know, just a little lacking in fullness overall. It's hard to say for sure. Something's just not, not quite there. Very good, not quite there. All right, so Sammy Kakash here. Competed now, in Chicago, a, uh, a but when it comes to the stage. did not place in Chicago. Another one of those where it's, I'm thinking, like, as a competitor, time. if I'm doing a pro show and I do not place, I'm not going to continue doing more pro shows more that year. Uh, just because, uh, I mean, unless you got all the money in the world, like, it costs money to go to these things. So, like, you're not going to go from do not place to then earning enough points to get your Olympia qualification. That's just not going to happen. So you've got to be realistic about what you expect to get out of this. She looks fine. She looks I good. It's just body-wise, fantastic. A le- le- bit legs just don't have a little bit of water. Now, there's just not a lot of separation. Um, I wouldn't say it's water necessarily. I would say her, her legs are just yeah, undersized. Her upper body's great. She just doesn't have a lot of size in her legs. Sometimes they flush that out. Need more muscle to push against the skin to create that separation. Now this is she's a little softer here. Modesta, all the way from Denmark. Or just you know she was a little little too relaxed. <laughs> Definitely, I mean, conditioning is good, just not comparable to what we've already seen in the first handful of, uh, of competitors up on the stage. We've, we've seen sharper than this. So if you're not going to bring the conditioning, has a lot of muscle. She I want to see you bring like some stage. crazy shape, some crazy size. You want to see her a little and it's like I everything's mean, back shot good. Is everything's good. Just double. lower body is just uh, really soft like um, on the back water, pose specifically. Film over her legs, if you will. I noticed for a lot of women, that is the hardest part, is getting that, that uh, conditioning in the Thank lower body. Oh, you've noticed that? Really? Are you kidding me? Thank you for the insight there. Women have tough time lowering out, leaning out their lower body. Really? Anna Harris won Chicago a few weeks ago. All right, we got Anna coming And again. Up. Anna just came off of that Atlanta Pro win. Uh, so she's already Chicago, for not Atlanta. Well. She's here for the money and trying to take home this Texas title. Love to see it. I love when athletes like to compete, you know what I mean? Yeah, you can like to compete. That doesn't mean it's a good strategy. You know, your Olympia qualified. Start resting up for the Olympia. I think for her, it's probably because this is close to a hometown show. So it kind of makes sense. And I guess with Zama, you know, she won Tampa last week. She's from Brazil and she probably planned to do this show already. So what are you going to do? Just not do it and go home? It's like, it, it makes sense when you think about it, I guess. So it's a good look, honestly. I don't. Be popping like she was at the last show. Maybe yeah, I, I agree flat, with that. She she's flat. Kind of she just doesn't have it. Like she looks like second call out tops. And to go from winning a show a few weeks back, I, I, I would not put her in the first call out. You can be off, right? I mean, like you said, we had three not there. qualified women in this show. Not there. So you get out of- Sharonica Hinton. 
Yes, now, I believe it's her first show of the year. She's got such round muscle bellies. And the posing's always... Really good fast. shape. This is kind of what I would consider to be, like, ideal women's physique. Like, the size is there, but it's not ridiculous. Conditioning is there. I would say as far as women's physique is concerned, like what the standard is supposed to be, she's probably a little lean for that. Of course, as we know, the judges do not judge to that standard. They always want you to be leaner, leaner, leaner. Conditioning is on. So yeah, conditioning looks great. Agree. This is size, the like, when it comes to women's physique uh, conditioning right there. Yeah. And she reminds me so much of Linda Murray. And the size oh, and shape and symmetry like are really like on point for women's physique like also. Just, like this is, so well I think, me. what the Man, target should be. <laughs> I, I would have her in the <laughs> upper half of the first call out. So Aaron Hughes did Tampa last week, didn't place in Tampa. One of our taller competitors here today. Yeah, taller and just, you know, undersized. Um, now, I don't think this is Aaron's best showing today, to be completely honest. <laughs> uh, Conditioning-wise, could have been a bit better. This yeah. is about how she looked last week, guys. So do your research. Um, the question that I would have is, is she a new pro? Like, is this her first year competing as a pro? Like, I don't know, and I don't want to be rude, but I would suspect maybe. Um, not really pro caliber. Yeah, so this is first call out material. Now, again, borderline, possibly more bodybuilding than physique. Um, but shape, conditioning, size, all super good. Like in a vacuum. Now, Janet, what do you want to pull apart from this physique? I am a like, worried that she might be too muscular and a little bit too lean. Yeah. And that's one of the things that the judges look at, right? They don't it look at too lean. Fine line between women's physique and women's bodybuilding. I guarantee you the leanest person uh, on this stage yeah, will win. Right. Or if they don't, it's not going to be because they were too lean. Now, too big? Possibly. Too dense? Possibly. Um, like just not the, the right shape. In women's physique, when it comes to that back posing, they have to actually try I mean, if you put this physique just in, in a vacuum and rate it, there's really yeah. no weaknesses here. Like, really, really good, really sharp, top to bottom, head to toe. Um, it's just, you know, is this physique or is it bodybuilding? That's the only real question. And if the judges today like this as physique, she could very easily win the whole thing. Adriana Johnson. So, shorter. I was, as a slightly taller guy myself, I'm always envious of the shorties, men or women. It's just, you know, it's easier to fill out a frame when you're shorter. That being said, she's a little imbalanced. She's a little lower body heavy. Adriana, Conditioning isn't quite there. I mean, not, not first call out material, um, but good, good. Um, good posing, good flow and everything. Really soft from behind. Back needs to get brought up a lot more here. I think here you're looking for a tad bit more conditioning in the legs. You want to be a little tighter there. You want to be a little tighter everywhere. It's not just the legs. Like there's a little separation in the legs, but not much. Upper body also just doesn't have a lot of. On that stage, though. Upper body just doesn't have a lot of size. Yes, yes, I would agree. Like the legs have good size, they're just not bringing the conditioning. The upper body doesn't really have either. I like so, to say with uh, the men's side. She was 14th in Tampa last week. Marina Casinopolu from Cyprus, which is near Greece. That is a long I'm way. assuming based Cyprus. on the name. It took me 20. So she was 11th <laughs> in Tampa last <laughs> week. Uh, on the cool. taller side, wow. conditioning just really soft, really off. So the last woman that was up here, she beat her last week by three spots. Yeah, I saw Marina backstage earlier, and she's yeah. one of her taller competitors also. There's nothing, I mean, you know, again, no personal attacks here. There's just nothing super impressive about this physique. Um, you know, I mean, clearly, not everybody's playing the same game. You got some people that are coming to this show like it's first call out or bust, and some of them are just looking for the stage experience. Like we're in the pro league, we're competing as pros, not necessarily looking to win the show. Like a good place would be great, and so you've got to have a reasonable expectation. This is also where I always say, like you know, I, I get a lot of um, clients as a coach or potential clients who come to me saying, I want to compete and I want to win. Like. Well, yeah, everybody wants to win, but dude, like, this is going to be your first show, so All it's right. not always necessarily going to be in the cards Alyssa to win your Kessling. first show. Yeah, I don't know why they're saying Alyssa the Kessling. It's Kessling. Let's see what she brings yeah, today. It, it's personal preference. I strongly dislike her posing. Conditioning is number one, I'll um, tell you that. So, yeah. that being said, I dislike her posing. I am biased against her. Her physique is great here. Um, conditioning's good. Overall size and shape, um, like that. That arm is a little dominating. <laughs> Legs are good. Yeah, you can see all the little lines in the quads on that side pose, like super, super lean. 
yeah. Much improved over what I've seen out of her in the past, for yeah, sure. This looks great. That looks today. good. I definitely think we'll see her in that first her, call out. Her back was a little it's soft great. there. Like, leg, it's funny, like here, it's like, no, the legs, legs are sharp. Um, the back was actually looking just a little on the, uh, little on the watery side. Really good development overall. Really good. Really good. That is a very strange walk. Lexi Lowry. Right, we got Lexi Lowry here. I don't know anything from about her. San Diego. You can't say all the way from Turkey San Diego when you've got people from Greece and Turkey. But I do worry about the conditioning here today. Oh, you worry Especially about the conditioning? Alyssa. She's not conditioned. It's a hard act to follow. Yeah, Definitely. no. I mean, she, she has great size. It's just she needs to diet for another eight weeks. That's all it comes down to. She's about eight weeks out definitely from pro show. She's gonna have a hard time, but if she can bring that conditioning at a later show, she'll be hard to beat. She absolutely, she cares a ton. She won't be like hard to beat. Earlier, so she can come in a lot tighter. <laughs> yeah, she, she'd be a force to it, compete with. You can't say she'll be hard to beat. It's like, you can say like, she'll be competitive. Here today, she's not competitive. Shea Queen, Dallas. First show of the year. This is where I don't envy the judges, because now, right, I mean, so we've seen like, what, 15 people here? Um, and it's like, mm, I'm running out of things to say. There's nothing, slightly below. yeah, the conditioning uh, is off a little bit. There's just nothing really spectacular here. Call out. Top call out? I don't think so. If top call out's five or six, I just don't see her in that. Like, there's a lot of competitors, like that back shot is weak. The conditioning's there, just the size and density is not there. Um, again, I'm sure she's a lovely person. I don't know her. Just commenting on the physique. So, um, yeah, there's just nothing. I mean, biceps are great, but yeah, yeah, there's just not a whole lot else uh, that really stands out. And there's there's been enough competitors on stage where you're like, whoa, okay. And those are the ones that are going to make the first call out. Paula Ranta. She was one that I was curious to see just because last week. She did fourth in Tampa. And a couple weeks prior to that was their, 11th in Portugal. Uh, at the Portugal Pro. And second in right Spain prior to that. 10. So her shape is kind of weird. Like she has a long torso, long legs. Um, and it's just like her conditioning is great, but her overall shape is just kind of like. She has it. I agree with you on that. The striations in the quads and the chest. There's just something about the overall structure and shape and flow. And that, that back thickness just isn't really there. I see a bit more thickness in the back, though. <laughs> Would certainly compliment. If anybody wants legs, to hire me for commentary, I'm available. I, I agree with you to improve that X frame Thank for. You. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, all I mean, she's she's made improvements, but there just needs to be more back. Um, her her delts are great, but need the back to really kind of like tie that in. From Tampa. Seventh in Tampa last week. Every day over at mile 40, and uh, she's a she's a workhorse as well. To be clear, everyone on this stage today is a workhorse. Pretty dumb comment. Of course they're a workhorse. Um, unremarkable. Conditioning is okay. Certain yeah, poses it really stands out. That. It looks like she brought um, it to Texas with her. No, not really. Like, she's okay. She's, she's decent. She's in the upper half for sure. That pose is great. That's a good pose. Prior to that, I wasn't seeing anything that really stood out. Um, yeah, there's some good things, but it's just, it's not all coming together on every shot. And like these front poses here, not the most impressive. The quads, really what I'm looking for are some quads to stand out. Yeah, eh, decent, decent. Maybe borderline first call out. Yeah, I mean, back is good. Traps and erectors are good. And the thing is, like, it's it's hard to have a back that's developed enough to where it, it holds its own, like, on a on a rear lat spread in the back relaxed pose, and in a back double bicep. Because um, between all package, all three of those, to, uh, to hang with the other girls. Yeah, between all three of those, you're so really if you have an, if you have a weakness, it's going to be exposed. And so when you have a back that looks good in all three of those, that's good. And hers did. Again, eh. Good look, good presentation. A little bit more condition than who we just saw. Quad there looks great. 
that first pose, it's like, man, I would rather have you come to the front of the stage, stand in that square and hit that pose first. Because instead, the first impression I have of you is kind of like, meh. And then you go and hit a pose that's 10 times better than that. It's like, nah, nah. Like, there, there's a lot of good stuff Nicole going on here. Well. That's, yeah. I'd like to see a lot more lap on that pose. Wojciechowski. Katie Younger. Um, so, conditioning's there. Shape is just very blocky. She got slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Going too fast. Slow down the posing. Slow it down. Slow it down, yeah. Conditioning is great. Um, just, uh... She might be working she, on some of those stage jitters. Yeah. Shape, shape isn't there. Midsection's a little too, a little too blocky. Um, I mean, she is honestly one where if I was her coach, I would say, like, not physique, bodybuilding. If, if we can put another 8 to 10 pounds on a frame like that, that's bodybuilding, and she's going to be much more competitive there, I think. She's got some definite freak ability, and in bodybuilding, that really pays off. I, I would put Jeanette Johansson in that group as well. I think I called her Jeannie Feldman in the, in the intro. I was wrong. She's not in this show. Pamela Canfield, Zama Benta, Blanca, Sharonica, Jeannie, Jeanette, sorry I did it again, I was Paula, eight in call out. Oh, wow. and big, big first call out. Alyssa, and one more. Given the On the front double, I, I, I'm preferring Sharonica in this shot. Same. Same. I love the shape to go along with the conditioning there. Funny thing is, like, everybody starts to look different once they're not on stage by themselves. Here's a tough one. It does like, come down like to, like, what do the judges want? To show off that cool, though. This is going to be a big, big pose right here. Take this back. Conditioning is holding pretty, pretty she strong here. I mean, honestly, Jeanette Johansson is probably a little, a little oversized for this lineup here. Now, Lissa hits this very unorthodox for women's physique, but I do prefer it. I hate it. I absolutely very, fucking it's a hate it. Pose for her. It's a yeah, terrible pose. It looks stupid. It very, I can't stand pose. it. I hate it. Hate it. They're talking about Alyssa's side tricep pose. Like I mean, if we remove any conversation about what's more bodybuilding, what's more physique, and we just assume that everybody is up here and belongs up here. Um, I would honestly like, you know, just looking at overall shape, I'm trying to remove my bias uh, about Alyssa's posing, which I really don't like. Um, I think Zama has a much better physique overall, and the conditioning is really very close to on par. As well. uh, sort of right to the um, left of Alyssa, if you're looking at the screen with uh -huh. us here. I, I think she loses it in the front shots. Structurally, it's a little bit tougher for yeah. her, for sure. Yeah, she doesn't have the shape. Not sure I agree with that. Alyssa's Jeanette looks awesome in that back she shot. She carries a lot. The glutes on Paula over here, like, they're really standing out. Like, you can really see, like, there's some, there's a little bit of blood flow that kind of really starts to become a little bit more obvious as we get longer and longer into this call out here. I mean, honestly, you've got Jeanette, Alyssa, Zama, Sharonica, any four of those, I think you could make an argument for winning. I. If it's between Zama and Alyssa, I think it's Zama all the way. I don't think it's, wow. I honestly don't think it's Not all that close. <laughs> I believe that's Alyssa Benford. She yeah. Looks, she's looking great in this she lineup does. here. Yeah, there's some shakiness going on here in the posing. <laughs> Really soft on the left side here. Right. Yeah, that, definitely see her it's funny. You look at the first call you look out. at the uh, contrast between back. the vacuum there and the super blocky midsection here. Yeah, I mean, the, uh, Ka Katie is <laughs> seems to be a bit distended today. Yeah, yeah, I agree. She's not distended. It's just her shape. That she just has a blocky like midsection. A She's got a blocky midsection. It's just the shape. Yeah. I mean, her, talking about Katie, 
here. Her conditioning and density is just ridiculous. Um, and Alyssa next to her um, tell you what, OG Samika's looks good. There holding it. This will be the last call out probably. This is kind of like the uh, obligatory, like, yeah, we have to place all these, sure. But also, um, you only award um, placings for the top 16. So you've got 12 in the first um, first two call outs. So you know, half of these will be do not place. Talks about her, which, is easy, which is an easy fix. Like they can come back to another show later uh, this year and, <laughs> and, and really nail it. Absolutely. If, if conditioning was an easy fix, it wouldn't have been a problem here, dude. Like it's a hard thing to nail. It's hard. Sometimes like prep just goes south. You shouldn't. What you do between prejudging and finals is hold your weight. <laughs> because if you were off, you're not going to fix it in between prejudging and finals. And if you were on, you just want to hold it. That's all there is to it. It does not have to be anything crazy. And by hold it, I mean like whatever your stage weight was, like what weight were you when you stepped on stage? You want to manipulate food and water however it takes to hit that number again for finals when you step on stage. It's very interesting to see all four of our taller ladies in this in this call out as well. Just kind of let you know, you know, there's probably a little bit more space to fill out these frames. It's hard to fill out a tall frame. Add some more mass and definitely improve the condition. All right. Bringing more back on stage. It's like the in-between call-outs. Mix of bottom half of first and second call-out. So Pamela and Paula and Anna. We're battling fifth through tenth here. The top four, you're gonna have Alyssa, Zama, Sharonica, and it's good to see some of the can can compare to uh, Alyssa Benford on the far left. And the funny thing is, like, everybody's starting to look harder at this point. You know, you've had enough time on stage. This is where you're either going to start to fade <laughs> and your posing's going to start to suck a little bit more, or you're going to get harder and harder. Yep, she's moving up. All right, there it yeah. is. She is battling. She is battling. They all are. Good God, that's what you're doing here. That's why you're on stage. You don't have anybody who's up here and just be like, oh, I guess I'm just going to quit and give up. This seems like a formality. Like, we know who the top four are. Why bring them out on stage again? I'm sure you've decided already. I got to tell you, I really, really hate the way that prejudging is run. Just universally at bodybuilding shows. Um, with the, the call-outs and the moving around, and whoever ends up in the middle is the presumed winner. Like, especially when you've got a call-out of three or five. It's like the one in the middle is pretty much guaranteed to win. It's just stupid. It's just like, announce the winner then. Like, don't make us come back in, after a long break. And then, I mean, just like, a running format is better. Where you do this, get everybody off stage, do the individual routines, awards right then. Honestly, I'm trying to hide my bias here. It kind of looks like Alyssa is fading just a little bit here. Kind of looks like she's tiring out a little bit. Same with Jeanette on the right. It looks like she's getting a little tired here. Dama's holding on. So is Sharonica, honestly, but they're, you know, she's not in the running for the top two. She's probably looking at, you know, third or fourth, clearly. I think Zama's kind of lacking in the lower body conditioning. I agree with you. It doesn't look like she's flexed all the way. That's the thing. Her side tricep pose is so dumb because that's one of your best opportunities to show your hamstring. You spoke to it earlier. I think Alyssa's just putting herself in the best possible positions for these poses. <laughs> no. She really pops in these mandatory. Disagree. Yes, yes. Disagree. Unless her hamstrings suck, she knows which they don't. Very, very well. This is going to be tough. That was absolutely amazing. Okay, so pre-judging was a wrap. Finals happened later at night. I was not around for finals. I had other stuff to do. Uh, but looking at those results that were posted, and again, finals are always a little anticlimactic. I think with a reasonable guess, you kind of know what's going to happen, and I think that's one of the huge flaws of how these bodybuilding shows are run. It's just kind of a dumb premise. Pre-judging finals, you leave pre-judging with a pretty good idea of how finals are going to shake down. Like, 
what's the point in sticking around for finals necessarily? The top four, pretty much as we suspected, pretty much in the order that was suspected. Fourth was Sharonica Hinton. Third was Jeanette Johansson. Second was Alyssa Kiesling. And first was Zama Benta having a repeat after having won Tampa last week. Um, some of the other results, not really too surprising. The top eight rounded out exactly as the, the first call out would tend to indicate. Uh, it was fifth was Pamela Canfield. Sixth was Paula Ranta. Seventh, Blanca Rodriguez and eighth was Anna Harris. So um, no real surprises. Like those were the eight that were in the first call out. I was kind of wondering if either Katie or Alyssa in the second call out might have creeped into the eighth spot. None of that happened. So it was pretty uh, anticlimactic. But uh, there it was. So congrats to everyone. Uh, it was a good show. Good show all around. So this was really like the last main pro show of the year. There are a couple of master shows up on the calendar still. Um, there's an Italy and a UK pro show. Um, but other than that, that's it until the Olympia, which is scheduled for October 11th and 12th. There's also a France pro show, but no other major US um, open pro shows. Just a couple of master shows in between now and then. There can still be some changes in the, uh, in the Olympic qualification but as it stands right now, um, we have a pretty good idea of who's going to be there and who's not.